Hello team at SBFC. My name is Noah. I'm the spinal rehab technician here and I am here to show you a different type of translation. Okay. So with this translation, it's called anterior thoracic translation. Anterior means front of the body. Thoracic body is from the clavicle down to the bottom of the rib. And then translation is just moving away from midline. Okay. So first movement that we have is that anterior thoracic translation. So I'm going to come up against the wall. You'll have a block or something like it where you can actually put it against the top of your hips. Once it's there, it's best to have a mirror in which you can check your positioning. So your ankle should be in line with your hip, should be in line with your shoulder. Okay. Once you're in this position, what you can do is slowly push your chest into the wall. You can almost imagine a string pulling your upper abdominal into the wall. But as you go forward, you don't want to tilt. Okay, so everything stays nice and straight as you move forward. What I like to imagine is a big giant kind of taking your lower half and taking your upper half and yanking you apart. That's the type of movement you should have. So let me go ahead and demonstrate here. Okay, when you're in this position, you should feel a strong contraction of the muscles right in your mid back, shouldn't feel any pain in the lower back, and you shouldn't feel too much contraction up here in that upper back, okay? So that's how you complete anterior thoracic translation, just the normal one. And now I will demonstrate how you do braced anterior thoracic translation. So when you're bracing, that means you have a slight activation or engagement of the muscles in your abdominals, okay? And that's going to limit how far you can push forward, but it's gonna keep things stable, okay? so. Same setup as the anterior thoracic translation before it. But once you're in this position, you can either <sighs> give a cough out or you can actively engage those abdominals and kind of press in with your fingers to make sure they're activating. Okay, so once you have that activation, you're then going to push forward in the same fashion. It'll be again, a smaller movement. You wanna press in every once in a while to make sure you're braced. And then you'll feel a little bit of that contraction in that low to mid back. Okay, so that's anterior thoracic translation, both normal and braced. Now we're going to go over posterior thoracic translation. So with posterior thoracic translation, we're focusing on the back side now. Otherwise, everything remains the same. Thoracic body between the collarbone and the bottom of the rib, and then away from the midline. Okay, so you can imagine it's the exact opposite of what I just did. So make sure you get that correct. You'll place it against the top of the hips. Again, it's best to have it in front of a mirror. That way you can check to make sure your ankles and your hips and your shoulders are all in line. But once you've done so, you're then going to kind of suck in almost like there's a vacuum occurring in your upper abdominal and push your back into the wall. Okay, this is a much harder movement, in my opinion, to do than the anterior thoracic translation um, because there's a, a lot of stuff you have to do with the front of your body. So just make sure that you're creating that vacuum and you're pushing back. Okay, this is how it should look. It's a much smaller movement for me than the anterior thoracic translation. Um, but notice that, again, it's just like that giant grabbing the bottom and the top of you and yanking you apart. There's no flexing into the wall. Okay, you're just pulling back like that. All right, so that's posterior thoracic translation and anterior thoracic translation. Go ahead and give those a shot. 